WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update. We got a bit of a mixed bag. That mix primarily coming from the Dow, which is up 192 points, about six tenths percent. Most of the other indices, not the New York Stock Exchange, but the others are trading the downside. S&P's off four. No big deal there. That's flat. NASDAQ's off nearly 1%, 115 points. Russell's off 11, that's 7 tenths of a percent. Semis are down 1.5% or 48 buckaroonies. If we take a look at gold, she's up 16 bucks. Silver's off a penny. Light sweet crude is up $4.31. Natural gas is down 12 pennies. And the 30 Treasury printed out 132, even Steve. That is up 12 ticks. Let's try to figure out what all that means by looking at our nine panel market update chart. We begin with the ES mini in the upper left hand corner. We've got an A to B equals CD to the upside underway. Its price target is 41. 171. That's a likely outcome, especially with the spot volatility being below its 50-day exponential moving average. Yes, it's rising today, but it is still below its exponential 50-day exponential moving average. That is a bullish signal. If we take a look at the NQ, the Nasdaq gets in an A to B equals C to the upside. Its price target is 14,003. If we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, it is attempting to form a new profile. It has support down at 101.70 and resistance at 102.58. You've got Goldilocks. It is consolidating with inside its daily profile. This is the June contract. It has support at 19.02 and resistance up at the 2013 level. If we take a look at silver, it's an A to B equals CD to the upside. Now, today so far is a key reversal pattern. What I mean by that, in order to have a key reversal pattern, you have to have a candle, I should say, really. You have to have three things going on at the same time. The first thing is you must be in a stretch condition. Well, the A to B equals CD pattern and attaining the one-to-one -one certainly gets us to that stage. Number two, you need to exceed the prior bars high and low. We have done that already. Number three, price must close at least one tick in the opposite direction. That means to the downside. So the open was at 24.28, 24.285. If we get any close below that, that would then signal a sell the D point pattern. I'm not saying sell silver. I'm saying that's what the signal would be out there. If we take a look at light sweet crude, it's made the one to two A to B equals C to the upside. If you own the art of timing the trade, well, you'll know that typically that's where you see the market stop, whatever the instrument is that you're trading and expect a pullback. Turns out today will also be a TD9 count top. Natural gas had a nice bottoming signal on Friday, but if price closed below $2.07, it wants lower price. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader Z Show. But if you have to start your Monday, please have a magnificent one. Thanks for joining us. We'll look forward to speaking with you again soon. Take care. Now.